Good evening, everyone. My name is Nick Gorman. Here is my test level. Uh, let's keep this at a brisk pace since the teacher asked. So the first part starts out with a little cutscene. Scraps guy is running and he's like running for his life or God knows whatever he's doing. Falls down this hole. So when he falls down this hole, he drops his grapnel and you're unable to use it. It still shows it, but you can't pick anything up. So the idea of this is sort of a tutorial. So he's walking around the mounds of dirt, blah, 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 learning how to jump right here. This next part teaches you how to crouch. So you know the whole tutorial basics. And how to interact and open doors. So the first thing you want to do is go around to the side and pick up your grapnel. This allows you to pick up stuff and actually move stuff. So the idea is to get them used to using the grapnel in this little section right here. Uh, knocking stuff over, pulling stuff. If I can knock this over. It's supposed to work like a Jenga block, but we'll see. Bear with me. Table. Okay. Remember, you can't get across these things until you get the grabnel, because you have to be able to pick up the boxes. So once you get over this dumpster, yes, dumpster. So I've got the water leaking up here. Um, I tried creating a dynamic sound with this, so the closer you get, the louder it gets and stuff like that. Um, these fire particles are keeping you from getting in the way, so we've got to we've got to put the fire out by connecting this pipe to that pipe up there. And there's only so much I can say in this, you just kind of have to watch. I originally didn't have a rail right there. Dang it. I originally didn't have a rail right there, so you could just throw it up, but it made it too easy. And I wanted the player to have to jump places and actually move around with their objects. Sort of work with the environment. Maybe I made it too hard, but we'll see after I get up here. Okay, well the good thing is we did drop the pipe up there. I also wanted it to be kind of hard, like I want people that know what they're doing to be able to play this game and still find it difficult. Okay, <clears throat> so creating this dynamic environment, so you increase this, this pipe. Turns on, letting out the water that was coming from the other sign. Turning off the fire, increasing, creating a puddle on the ground. From there, you have to stack boxes. I'm trying to teach everything in the beginning. Like I want people. Oh yeah, the puddles are great. I want I want everything to be learned at the very beginning. I don't want you to have to worry about anything later on or learning anything. So the, the utter of tutorials. Pile through these boxes. I think I had a good idea for them earlier, but so next session. This is rubble, by the way. You break the car window to be able to grab the objects out of there, and you can't grab them until you break it. And then also grabbing objects from underneath items under here. So this is my my desolate town. My destroyed town. Now the player's got to be able to get up these stairwells, and the only way to get that stuck stair down is by throwing something at it. I had a lot, a lot of fun with my scripts. If, if anything else, I enjoyed the programming bit of all this. So the player needs to just run all the way up the stairs. There were a couple other things here, but the game ended up being too long for the last project, so I had to cut some things up. Pick up the bricks on the ground to break the glass. There we go. Alright, I'm an expert at my own game. Okay, so... This next part, you'll want to grab the crowbar from underneath the bed. And hit it against the door three times to knock it open. It is a stuck door. It won't open if you're trying to interact with it. So whoever's team I'm on, I'm probably going to be the programmer, by the way. 
So the door opens after you hit it a couple times. These other rooms are really just fillers, so you can pick up some items. I should probably pick them up because I need them for something a little bit later on. I'll show you. One. All the windows in the entire thing are completely breakable. Uh, this this level right here, this one section part, is more of a hide and seek. Or a where's Waldo type of thing for the items, so you want to sort of find everything. We're going to go up the stairs, collect our last couple little pieces, our cranes in the way, so we got to knock that over. The ridiculously heavy crane. I made it to where the player cannot fall out of this area right here, but everything else can, because for obvious reasons. Next part, last of the wires I've got to collect underneath our water tower. You go up to the top, and this won't activate unless you have all the wires. If you press E on it, the lights turn on. Should be lights on that side as well. Um, I don't know if you can hear the generator noise working, but it's also a 3D environment noise. At that point, you can actually come in here. These computers weren't on before. Let's see how to change this, if I remember how. Well, I don't, but that's fine. Okay, so the computer monitor is supposed to display your progress for the level, how many items you've captured, how much money the... the what's it called? The Bast? The Bastion? It's supposed to give you for the items. Um, so this is sort of the terminal for the entire thing. So like a base of operations for your scraps, your scraps world, that is. Um, I think that was brisk enough, right? I sort of just ran through it. Okay, that's my game. Uh, I like to focus on scripts. I enjoy programming. Level design's pretty cool, but I think I'd make a good teammate wherever I fit in. And I can't wait to hear from you guys.